Hello, my name is Nicola Hillier and I'm going to tell you about the GCSE options in um, art, photography and textiles that we're offering at Stonehenge this year. I currently teach textiles in the school along with Mrs Dawes, Mr McCarthy and Mrs Cable. Um, the exam board that we have chosen to use for all three courses is EDUCAS and the reason why we've gone with that one is that we really feel that it looks to the positive in students' work. So I think it um, is a slightly more generous, student-friendly exam board. So, I'm going to start with fine art, but some of these, uh, all of these courses have a certain uh, similarity. All of them are made up of 60% coursework and 40% exam, which is very unusual in the current climate. Uh, with both subjects, but it is very, very useful as we have found this year in particular. So 60% of your final mark will be done with the coursework that you do in class, and then at the very end of the GCSE, 40% of your mark is down to an exam. It doesn't feel like an exam, it's a very un exam -y exam. It's no different from basically what you'd be doing in class every day, which is making stuff there's no written paper and the only thing about the exam is that it's done under exam conditions in the classroom over two days and you make a thing. So you are going to be using a range of art and design techniques across all of these subjects and we've got some nice examples here. Let's look at the fine art first. So GCSE fine art, you've got um, some lovely examples of um, a student's work there. Um, it's going to increase your creative thinking and adaptability skills. Okay, these are high em highly employable skills, and again, that's similar across all three subjects. Employers want you to be a creative thinker. Employers want you to be able to problem solve, and creative subjects are excellent at getting you those skills. The course is going to give you um, skills in drawing and painting, three-dimensional work, relief collage, uh, printing, some photography, and some Photoshop. You're going to be working with dry, wet and digital media and um, this course gives you the opportunity to study, um, go on and study at sixth form, um, looking at either A-levels or um, BTECs or NVQs, um, college, uh, which can also lead to specialist courses at university or um, lead to an apprenticeship. While we explore lots of different artists, um, this all three of these subjects are very, very personal. So often the outcome is entirely down to your input to it, your opinion on something, what you want to communicate, what you want to say. So that's one of these um, really, really nice things about this is we get to explore you a little bit as well. So career options, um, not limited, but possible um, to the following. So you've got, uh, you could be an architect, you could be a fine artist, you could be an illustrator, a graphic designer, all of those there, an art worker, you could work in art therapy, you could work with children, you could work with adults, you could work in hospitals helping people get better by helping them um, by doing some art with them, which is a lovely thing to do. Lots and lots of things, animator, theatre and set design, games designer, you could go on and work in TV, all sorts of things. Let's have a look at textiles. Why should you study textiles? I love textiles, um, that's why I'm teaching it and uh, I think textiles is brilliant. That's why you should do it. But apart from that, um, again, increasing your creative thinking and adaptability skills, it's highly employable. Um, we are going to look at basic pattern and construction. We're gonna look at basic sewing machining. Um, you're also going to be doing a lot of um, further study in embroidery, surface design, fabric manipulation techniques. Um, and we do a lot of drawing and painting as well. Um, the main focus is creating our work through the use of textiles techniques, so um, using the sewing machine, embroidery, dye, etc., that sort of thing. Um, but again, in order to get to that, we need to do a lot of drawing, painting and exploring through photographs. Um, our current project um, that we're looking at are pop art, and then we do insect and the self, and through that we explore lots and lots of different um, artists and designers. Uh, textile specific uh, career options, uh, textile designer, accessories designer, costume designer, um, I would love to have been a costume designer in theatre, that would have been amazing. Um, 
you could design men's wear, women's wear, children's wear, you could be a fashion buyer, you could be a, fa a pattern cutter, you could be a fabric constructor, all sorts of things. The fashion industry is huge and it would be exciting to be part of that. Okay, GCSE photography. This is a new option um, and photography is everywhere and someone has to take all of those photographs, so it might as well be you. Um, studying photography, again, will increase your creative thinking and adaptability skills. Um, you're going to be using a digital SLR camera and you're going to use a wide range of mixed media and digital media, including Photoshop. You will also be mono printing and drawing um, to help support your ideas, so there will still be drawing and painting in photography. Again, you could go on to sit form to do A-levels in it, you could go on to do a degree in it, and you can continue um, on with that as your career. Very exciting. Um, again, photography is everywhere. So when you think about all of um, you know print media, TV, film, all of these things, somebody has got to be behind the camera for all of these. So it's an exciting thing to take part in. Career options. Freelance photographer, wedding photographer, interior photographer, portrait photographer, fashion photographer, all of that photographing. We do try and get out on some trips. This year has clearly not been great for trips, but in normal times we're going to try and get you out in year 10 and year 11. All three courses would go out together on a trip and we could, uh, various places we can visit. Um, we do try and use these trips to support the stuff that you're doing in class. So we try and get to the Tate Modern in London. There's local galleries across Dorset and Wiltshire that we can get to. We could go to Messams. We could go to Hauser and Worth. We could go to um, Sculpture in the Lakes. Um, lots and lots of places. We could get to the Portrait Gallery. We could try and get to the Royal Academy. We need to try and get out to see and experience art around us and that will help support what we're trying to do in the classroom. So, reasons why you um, may want to be involved um, in taking creative subjects. The creative industries are rapidly expanding and currently employ up to 2.1 million people in the UK. Lots and lots of people involved, okay? And also, when you're doing a creative subject, you, um, if you continue on with this in co your career, um, you have a better quality of life. I firmly believe this. If you've got a job doing something you love, you will have a happy life. If you have a job doing something creative, you're always thinking and always challenging yourself, and it's really interesting. Now, we do have to put a little bit of a limit on these things. You can't take all three creative subjects, as wonderful as that would be. Okay? There's specific combinations allowed. You can do art and photography, or you can do textiles and photography, but you can't take textiles and art together this year because there, there's too many similarities. Okay? If you just want to take one, that's absolutely fine. Okay, you could just take art, just take photography, or just take textiles. But you can't take art and textiles. Okay? Right. Other things that I do need to point out. There's so many reasons to take these subjects. They're creative. They're exploratory, both for yourself and for the world you live in. If you like doing drawing, painting, observing, looking at things, looking at people, if you like doing messy things, take one of these subjects. It's a completely different way of thinking and it can be a good alternative to academic subjects. Or if you have a timetable that's heavy with academic subjects, you might want to have a lesson where you don't think in that particular way. You might want to have a lesson where you use a different part of your brain. Um, creative thinkers are problem solvers and this is very, very desirable to employers. If you don't like sewing machines, or you're scared of them, probably best not to take textiles. If you don't like making mistakes, if you don't like drawing, or if you're a perfectionist and uh, throw a wobbly if something goes slightly wrong, probably best not to take the creative subjects. Okay, We learn from mistakes, we like mistakes here, um, and it means that they can feed in and inform our next thing that we make. Okay, There will be some writing involved. There's not a written paper involved with this 
uh, any of these courses. However, you will have to write some notes and you will have to explain and communicate your ideas. So you will have to write somewhere within these courses, okay? And you will be marked on your writing, okay? Creative lives are happy lives, I believe. So if you are um, interested in any of these courses, we'd love to see you in year nine.